What's up guys? Um, David Chirac here today. I am going to be reacting to the Raptors 121 to 120 loss to the Atlanta Hawks. Raptors kick off the second half of the season um, against the Atlanta Hawks. Raptors sitting 8th in the East coming into this game. Very important game um, against the Hawks, which were at 11th place, but really 7 to 11 in the East are really pretty much separated by only a couple of games. So, yeah, very important game tonight against the Atlanta Hawks. And um, this is a game that the Raptors need to win. Like, there's no other way to put it. I'm not going to say that... The, I'm not gonna say even though they lost they still won somehow like like again like that that uh That Boston game Yeah, they lost the game, but there was lots of positives to take out of it There's some positives to take out of this, but this is absolutely a game That the Raptors should have won. This is just like it's absolutely it's just an unacceptable loss The last five minutes of this game were so hard to watch bro the Raptors had a 15-point lead in the fourth quarter. A 15-point lead. And then the Hawks, the number at one point was a 12-0 run for the Atlanta Hawks. Um, Kevin Herter was doing his thing. John Collins. Trey Young didn't even go that crazy at the end of the game. Um, and the hero for the Atlanta Hawks, Tony Snell. Tony Snell hits the game-winning three. Tony Snell is shooting. What is he shooting? I mean, this year he's shooting. Bro, how is Tony Snell shooting 56.5% from three this year? How is that even a thing? This is just the Raptors' luck. Tony Snell is just deciding to have a career year. Probably one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And obviously you're going to leave him open compared to a Trey Young, compared to a Kevin Herter. But yeah, he's he's shooting 56.5%. Um, Stanley Trons Johnson tried to run out there, tried to contest it, but it was it was pretty much wide open. I I knew as soon as he shot it, it was over. Um, I I had a feeling as soon as Norm missed those two big free throws, Norm could have made this, I believe, a six point game. But he misses both free throws. It's a four point game. Trey Young comes down, gets the layup. Uh, it's a two point game. And then Norm, I don't, I'm, I'm disappointed in Norm. He had a good game, but the, the end of this game was just is not, not, not the best for Norm. He finished with 33 points. He was great the whole game until the last couple possessions. Last possession for the Raptors on offense. Norm gets the switch, switches on to Trey Young. Um, Trey Young, obviously not a good defender. That's the switch you want to get. Gets past Trey Young. Um, Jack said it in the broadcast. I feel like he could have took a little mid-range jumper. Instead, he goes up and um, it, it looked like kind of like a layup sh attempt at first, but it was more like a pass to Bembry. Um, and that Onyeka and Kongwu did a good job contesting that. Um, got a hand up, made it hard for Norm. Bembry had to put up some stupid hook shot and push shot in the paint, turn around over Clint Capella. Obviously, that's not going in. Um, and Tony Snell comes down on the other end. Trey Young gets doubled, pretty much triple teamed, kicks it out to Tony Snell, wide open, nothing but net, and the Raptors lose. Um, Tony Snell had six points. He had six points. We really let Tony Snell beat us. Isn't Tony Snell is the dude that had one of the worst stat lines of all time. Tony Snell is the dude that had literally zero, nothing. He had zero points, zero rebounds, zero assists, zero steals, zero blocks. Didn't even attempt a shot, I'm pretty sure, in like 28 minutes or something. But we really let that dude beat us. <sighs> the Raptors just look gassed. I'm not going to use that as an excuse, but they did look gassed. Um, Stanley Johnson Stanley Johnson was really the only one that didn't look gassed. Uh, he hit two big threes. Uh, Norm, I'll give Norm a little bit of credit. He did get into the paint and kick it out to Stanley Johnson. So he had a nice pass there. Um, 
Bembry had the next one where he got into the paint, similar thing, kicked it out to Stanley. Um, so shout out, shout out to Stanley, man. Two big threes, that's good for his confidence. I like to see that, but you can't miss two three throws. You can't, you can't leave people wide open. It's just, you gotta get a better shot on that last possession too. Like, it was looking good, man. It was looking so good in that second half. Just great energy all around until like the last six minutes. I don't know what happened. I think ever since it was that, that Chris Boucher and one that put us up 50. But since that point, I don't know what happened with this team. They just, they didn't have it. They didn't have it. Um, I, I was criticizing Norm a little bit. I want to give him his credit though. 18 first half points um he was carrying a lot of the offensive load so maybe that's just fatigue setting in um 13 in the third quarter for norm and uh just a great performance from him overall excluding the last like five minutes um chris boucher 10 points in the third quarter finished with 29 i believe um let's see here what did he yeah 29 points um Two threes, 10 for 15, super efficient, nine rebounds, two assists, two steals, two blocks. I mean, he was really the reason that the Raptors even had a had a uh, 15 point lead in the fourth quarter there. Um, one shy of tying his career high, which he had against Boston last game. Um, so Chris Boucher continues to impress. Um, but other than him off the bench, no one really gave anything. You got Paul Watson, he hit a three. Terrence Davis, four points. Yuta hit a three. Um, but other than Chris Boucher off the bench, he was really the only factor coming off the bench. And then you look at Atlanta's bench, and they had Gallo off the bench. They had Solomon Hill off the bench with nine. They had Rondo come in, hit two threes. Like, three-point defense was a serious problem the first time these two teams played. And, uh... I don't know the exact stats. I'm going to look at them right now, but it definitely seemed like a problem. I mean, they only shot 35.7%, but a lot of the gut punch shots that came from the Hawks came from behind the three-point line. Tony Snell, two of three. Kevin Herter, three of nine. Gallo, four of eight. Bogdanovich did struggle, 0 for five, but Rondo comes in, goes two for two from three. <sighs> I, I just, in the first half especially, I don't know why the Raptors were going under screens. They were going under screens on Trey Young. Let that sink in. That is something a team should never do. Um, and they just continue to do it in the first half. Now, give them credit. In the second half, they did improve upon that, especially in the third quarter. The third quarter of this game was... Easily the best quarter for the Toronto Raptors, winning that 35 to 20, uh, playing great defense. But you can't give up 37 points in the first and fourth quarter and expect to win. Like, and you can't. I get it. You got to double Trey Young, but a three beats you. That's the thing. A three beats you. A two sends it to overtime. You can't let someone wide open for three. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch that play later, and I'm just going to see exactly what happened. But I don't believe Stanley Johnson was on Trey Young. I don't, you don't necessarily need to come over and help on that. Norm had whoever was guarding him. I think it was Norm. Um, I think they got the switch. I think Bembry was at first, and then they got the switch. So Norm was on, on Young. Um, and Stanley Johnson, you don't need to come over and help. Like, a two ties the game. A three beats you. Just don't give up a three. Why are you helping off of that? And why are you helping off of Tony Snell? You'd think they would read the scouting report. Coming into this game, shooting 56%. Almost 57% from three. Like, in 23 games. It is on 2.7% attempts, but still, the efficiency is there, bro. He's going to knock down a wide open three. Maybe if you give him that shot again, he might not hit it. But chances are, dude is shooting 56.5%. Chances are he's going to knock down an open three. Unacceptable. Unacceptable loss. You cannot lose this game if you're trying to get in the playoffs. The Raps fall to 17-20. and 20. They're now 10th in the Eastern Conference. Um, 
The Hawks have the same record now as the Raps, but they have the the uh, the tiebreaker, obviously, because they've won both games against the Raptors. The next couple games as well are very important for the Toronto Raptors. They play the the Hornets next, which are in that 7-10 to 10 kind of range, and um, they play the Bulls after that as well. So, yes, I get it. You're shorthanded. It really sucks. This team was playing really well, um, and then COVID just has to come and completely screw them up. Pascal, Fred... Um, OG remain out. Hopefully they're back against the the friggin' Hornets, bro. Like, it's just so hard to watch Norman Powell, Kyle Lowry, and now Chris Boucher try and carry this team. Like the offense was fine, excluding the last five minutes of this game. The offense was was fine. It's the defense. You can't you can't give up a wide open three for the win, man. You just can't. That's just not a thing you can do. Let's talk about something positive. Kyle Lowry, second all-time now in scoring for the Toronto Raptors, um, passes Chris Bosh, and um, he only tra trails DeMar DeRozan, except I think he's like 3,000 points behind DeMar, so that might not happen, but um, shout out to Kyle Lowry. Um, second all-time leading scorer, just the GOAT Raptor, we all know it. Um, the Raps were down 19 in that second quarter there. The fact that uh, this is this was just a crazy game in general. Down 19, and the Raptors have a 15-point lead eventually in the fourth quarter. Like the, with the way teams shoot the three ball nowadays, no lead is safe at all. Even 15 points with like seven minutes or whatever it was. Um, Aaron Baines, he had a pretty nice game. Aaron Baines fan club is going to be geeking over this game. Um, he was not efficient at all, but um, 11 points, 15 rebounds. You like to see that, those board numbers. Um, four for 15, so it's kind of a yikes. But um, Kyle Lowry, 17, 6, and 12. Pretty nice game from Kayla. I mean, actually, now that I think about it, not really a good game at all from Kyle Lowry. You're going to look at 17, 6, and 12 and think, oh, okay, but... Um, you look at his shooting numbers, 5 for 17, 30% from the field. But the big the big yikes here is that nine turnovers. Nine turnovers and a minus 14 for Kyle Lowry. Um, he, just, he, didn't, he didn't make enough good decisions, especially late. You'd think Kyle Lowry, being the veteran that he is, would be able to look at the situation of the game, see that it's, it's getting a little bit sketchy, and um, kind of take the game over and just... I thought Kyle Lowry should have got a touch. I mean, he did get a touch, didn't he? He got a shot um, on the second last possession for the Raptors. It wasn't a good look. It was kind of a tough, like, turnaround mid-range shot. I, f I feel like they should have had the ball in his hands on the last possession because you, you saw it with Norm. Norm was forced to make a pass there, and uh, it wasn't the best pass. Um, there was probably someone wide open in the corner, um, which would have been a better shot, a semi-contested corner three compared to a pretty much fully contested DeAndre Bembry, a shot in the paint over Clint Capella. Like, yeah, I just think that the ball should have been in Kyle Lowry's hands there. And um, it wasn't. The Raptors lose. That's just the way it goes. This season has been very strange for the Toronto Raptors. Um, yes, you're missing three players, but once again, I'm going to emphasize this point again. You cannot lose this game. Up 15 with six minutes left. You can't lose this. You just can't. Um, Nick Nurse has got to be better. I feel like he should have called that timeout sooner. He let the Hawks back into it a little bit too easily. Um, but, yeah. Um, at, least, at least Nick Nurse is back. That's, that's one positive. Um, hopefully, we can get three of our starters back um it's really sucked these past couple games because the raptors have been missing two of their all-star caliber players and probably one of their most improved players in og ananobi i guess not you'd say normer chris boucher but a, in a, an essential key starting piece in og ananobi and um yeah they're just they're struggling like this team this team just doesn't have the talent that they had last year missing serge Ibaka. And uh, Marc Gasol, they just don't have the, the assets defensively. Um, the rim protector is just the, the big in the paint that can get you, that can be that safety kind of kind of guy. Um, and you're seeing it when, they, when they're missing three starters, it really hurts. It really hurts because they just don't have the same, 
the same talent that they've had in previous years and the margin for error with this team is a lot less and when you're when you're not completely healthy it's really hard to win games and especially when you're missing three starters it makes it that much harder so um overall i like the job they did on trey young he he did end up with 37 but um oh my goodness bro i almost completely forgot to talk about this trey young is one of the most annoying players to watch in the nba i'm just gonna say it. this dude had 16 free throw attempts i don't know how this dude gets so many calls yes he's pretty gifted pretty talented at at drawing fouls but some of the calls that he gets are kind of questionable um i hate when he's uh, when there's a pick and roll um, or he gets a screen and then he's got his defender behind him and he does that little he jumps back into the defender it just makes me so mad every time i see him do that because there's no way an offensive player should be able to jump backwards into the defender and the defender should be called for the foul like that's not a regular shooting motion bro no one jumps backwards like that when their momentum is going forwards no one does that when they're shooting like just uh, he's just annoying to watch I, I don't, I don't, I'm not hating on him. He's a good player. It's just the free throws, man. Like he's, he's very similar to James Harden. Um, but yeah, 37 for Trey Young. I mean, gotta give him credit. The Hawks won. Gotta give the Hawks credit. I'm salty. Yes, I am very salty. Um, the Raptors should have won this game. This should be a Toronto Raptors win. The Raptors should be. 18 and 19 but that's just not how it goes and um hopefully the raptors can find a way to get a win against the charlotte hornets on what day is that a saturday i believe um because that's going to be a really important game um but yeah that's going to do it for this raptors wrap up not a very positive one because kind of a depressing end there with tony snell hitting the game winner gotta love it um yeah, it's going to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.